ladies and gentlemen, live from the famous Acme Carly Theater in Hollywood, it's Unscripted Hollywood Dream Roll. And now, please welcome to the stage our director, Joseph Limbaugh. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for being here uh, in our studio audience for this live online television show, Unscripted Hollywood Dream Roll. <laughs> So glad you could make it. What you're gonna see tonight is a Hollywood blockbuster. But we're gonna create that blockbuster with no set, no budget, and no script. <laughs> yeah, that's right. But we're gonna do it. Uh, we couldn't do it, of course, we didn't have a Hollywood star. So, ladies and gentlemen, Rim Hillis! <laughs> No talent, which is why they have me tonight. So. Oh, 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 a little self-deprecation. It goes a long way. I agree. Rip. Yes. Welcome to the show. Tell us, what have you chosen for your dream role? A telenovela. <laughs> <laughs> Do you speak Spanish? No, I'm no poquito. But I really wanted, I wanted to live in a world where the women were sexy and the men were manly and you could wear your shirt unbuttoned to your navel and you were still cool. And since I haven't gotten on Dancing with the Stars yet, I had to do it here. <laughs> awesome, awesome. Well, uh, how about if we start off somewhere that's not a telenovela and we'll get there? I like it. All right, that's what we'll do then. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> awesome, so uh, let me get a name for him, uh, something that could be easily Latinized. Richard. Richard, which would become Ricardo. Excellent, Richard. Great. Uh, you can roll that, Ricardo. It does have an R in it. <laughs> All right, so far so good. Uh, Rib, let us now welcome the cast of Hollywood Dream Roll! <laughs> So take a look at your potential cast here, and I want you to cast your uh, romantic interest. Mm, Diana. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Awesome. So, uh, what's your name? What's? How about something that's hard to Latinize? Ooh, Stacy. Oh, no. <laughs> that's right, Porter, not you. <laughs> For approval? I am. And Rhoda. Sure. Rhoda! Rhoda! Damn, this is tough. Excellent. So, uh, this is a movie, so we need an antagonist. So, uh, who's going to be your villain? Mm -hmm. Tony. Yeah. Antonio! Antonio! <laughs> All right, what's a non villainous occupation? A non what? A non. Not you, Porter! <laughs> Porter! Stylist and uh, Ricardo. What is it? Blades of Passion. Blades of Passion? <laughs> Candida del Amor. <laughs> I don't know what that means. Let's use that. <laughs> Candida El, del Amor. El Candida del Amor. <laughs> Spell it right. All right, ladies and gentlemen, Hollywood Dream Roll! <laughs> In a world without plot, in a land without script, 
one celebrity will find themselves with the opportunity of a lifetime. A chance to play their dream role. The only catch is, there is no set, there is no budget, and there is no script. Will this be a dream role or a nightmare? Let's find out tonight in our star-studded presentation of Hollywood Dream Roll. Starring Diana Costa, Dave Cox, Ruben Dario, Porter Kelly, Josh Padgett, Tony Rego, Carolyn Wilson, and our special guest star tonight, Rip Hillis. trying to get across town. I'm so sorry. Um, hi, oh, sorry. Hi. Wait, hi. Has, has she been washed yet? Uh, Richard, she is done. She's, do she, she's done? I need her. You, oh, okay, you're the boss. No, it looks... Really? You like that? Yeah. Yes, it's fantastic. You look this fantastic. This place you see that? sucks. No. Well, his fault then. Well, you, if you can fix it, I'll stay. Otherwise, give me my money No, back. you look fantastic. You look mag wonderful, beautiful. I don't think you could possibly do a better job on you. Really? Really. You do. You do. Wow. In fact, if you're not doing anything later, I'd like to take you out. I mean, you look so lovely. Richard! Lovely. Oh, sorry. Down here, please. Wait, wait. No, I like that. I'm you are not all Listen, you with the fraternizing and the customers, I do not like it. They feel awkward when someone as ugly as yourself hits on them. <laughs> they kill you. They don't they have to say yes because they're sad for you. <laughs> you worked in Don't Mess with Zoe, then? I don't know what you're saying. <laughs> Listen, Richard. Yes. One more time, and I will fire you. OK. <laughs> One more chance, please. I won't screw up, I promise. One more chance. What if you come for her? Fade out, fade out, fade out. All right, uh, we now uh, we see a little bit of uh, Richard today, and then he's on his way home, and outside he runs into a strange gypsy woman, a Spanish gypsy, or a South American gypsy. She's Latin. All right. <laughs> and uh, we'll go from there. And actually, I hate my job. I hate my life. This town sucks. <sighs> Come here, boy. Me? Joe. Joe, come here. Hi. 
Are you lost or something? No, but you are lost. I see it in your eyes. Yeah. You I are wanna... lost. You have not found your inner passion. I definitely, I... it's so funny you should say it. I was just saying, I don't feel like this is where I should be or where I belong. <laughs> you tell me. This is not where you should be. Tonight, when you go to sleep, I will send you a message of where you belong in here. <laughs> in here. <laughs> I feel it. Well, how will I know that, I, that I'm where I'm supposed to be, though? You will know. You will meet your passion. passion. Your passion here. Your passion here. Here? <laughs> you will see it in your dream. <laughs> Goodbye, Richard. How did you know my name? Goodbye, Richard. Dick. Rich. Sticky <laughs> pants. <laughs>
you idiot! The rent! It has not been paid in two months! <laughs> I don't know why, but I will find that money for you, my passion. Oh, you're my passion!
than this! What is this? Rhoda! Come on, Oh, this is a nightmare! How dare you lay your peasant hands on this? What are you doing with my woman? I ain't doing what I want to do with your woman! Just because I owe you money doesn't mean you can do that to her! Oh, or does it not? No. Well then, Ricardo. I tried, I tried to get your money. Oh, you don't have the money! No, I went to the docks. And then they told me this idea to sell drogas to the little kids. Oh! No, I couldn't go through it. I, I, I panicked and I ran. And the police, they're chasing me. Oh, they police! Don't know what to do. Oh, what do you have to do? Mr. Ricardo, Lama. that is a very... Sad story. Now stand up one moment because I am taking these away. They are mine. You! On the street! No, but wait! I have one more idea. Ricardo, make it a good one. <laughs> I've been walking around this town and I see all these men with these big bushy mustaches Ooh. and women with long beautiful hair. That stays on their head. <laughs> what they need in this town is a hair salon. <gasps> the lastima, that is a good idea. Ricardo! Ricardo, you are brilliant! And I think I know just how to get it started. Oh. I'm so proud of you. Perhaps that is yet another passion. Hairdressing. Come, back to the docks. We get the boys. I've never been to the docks. Lord, be with me. <laughs> All right, feet out. El que tira de la mano. So then I say to her, hey, I want my enchilada cold and I hit her. <laughs> this is them. Okay. This is hey. the gentleman. Oh, they look silly and sexy. Is it true? Is it possible that you, Candida, least in affection lady of the land? What do you say? Si! Rhoda! Rhoda to you too! Rhoda, what are they telling me? Oh, oh, they are telling you that they think I am beautiful! Tell them your plan! Tell them your plan! I could not sell the drugs! Okay, well, I could not do it! Por qué? Because it is wrong and the little children is bad for them! Is it but I have no? a new idea! Do not fear! Okay, tell us your idea. A new idea. I see you with your big, full, excellent mustaches. Who do you have cut them for you? We need that to is. open a hair salon. And I will do that. I will cut your hair. Oh, you definitely need a haircut. Now, we take these chairs, we set them up. Sit down, you, sit, please. Alright, let's get the green screen and see a hair-cutting montage. <laughs> I will be your receptionist. Excellent. Hello, Ricardo Salon. May I help you? Oh, you want Abdu? Will Abdu you good? Arrida! Who is this guy? Next. Oh, Ricardo, you make me a beautiful princess. Thank you, take all the money I have. Let's make it go away. <laughs> oh. Oh, Next. God. Ben, you have the money. See. Push, push. Thank you. Okay. Oh. It's been a long day of cutting hair. Oh, and you've done such a beautiful job. Look at all the money. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I think I will need the extra big scissors for this one. The extra big scissors. He needs major help. <laughs> Fantastico! I am beautiful! You're beautiful! <laughs> Ricardo! Look! Oh. Look at what I have! Wait a minute, look at your chest! <laughs> Ricardo, you have never done that to me before you found this passion! Must be 
Haircutting might be my best one. Well, I felt so invigorated while I was doing oh, it. Oh, I like invigoration, Ricardo. I like invigoration. You know, I've come to realize I thought it was where I was living that wasn't bringing me passion. Maybe I wasn't as passionate about my job. Hmm. But what about where you live? I was there at the apartment. No, I woke up when you were there. Hmm. I'm so confused. It's very confusing, but we're very rich, so it makes it easier. Yes, you have the money. We have the money. We can get our apartment back. We have to yes, the landlord. But look. Here he is. Convenient, eh? <laughs> Let me see the money. Or as my people say, the Nero. The Nero. I hope this is enough, senor. One. One of those. Cinco, tres. <laughs> blah, 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 blah. No! <laughs> no! Oh, my God, Ricardo. Ricardo, what are we going to do? It is not enough, Ricardo. What I want does not come in the form of dinero. What else could you want? <gasps> no! Yes! No! Yes! No! Yeah, yeah. 